Hello my dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be learning about food and the role of microbes. Are going to learn about the fruit groups, roughage and water, balanced diet, the preservation of food, and the role of microbes. Food groups the substances needed by our body for energy, good health, and proper growth are called nutrients. They give us the energy to do our work, they help us to repair our body and prevent us from falling ill too often. The main nutrients are found in carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrates Food items such as cereals and various vegetables are rich in carbohydrates. They give us a lot of energy. Food items rich in carbohydrates are called energy-giving foods. People who do a lot of physical work like farmers, laborers and sports persons need more carbohydrates. Proteins Food items such as eggs, pulses, beans and meat are rich in proteins. Food items rich in proteins are called bodybuilding food. We need it to repair our body. Young children need more proteins as they are still growing. Fats Food items such as oil, nuts, ghee and butter. They provide more energy than carbohydrates. They also help us to keep our body warm. We need very little fat. Too much fat can lead to obeseness and heart attacks. Vitamins Vitamins A, B complex, C, D, E and K are some important vitamins needed by our body. Vitamin A improves eyesight. Vitamin B is needed for various functions of our body. Vitamin C fights infections and keeps our teeth and gums healthy. Vitamin B keeps bones and muscles healthy. Vitamin E keeps your immune system healthy. Vitamin K is needed for blood. Minerals Calcium and iron are examples of some minerals. Calcium helps in the formation of bones and teeth. Iron helps in the formation of blood. Now roughage and water. Food items like cereal, corn, fruit etc. contain fiber that can't be digested by our body. The part of the plant that cannot be digested by our body is known as dietary fiber or roughage. It helps remove waste from our body. Hence, it is very important. Water is also very important. Our body needs water for various functions. We should drink at least 8 glasses of water, but not juice or soda, as it is unhealthy. Every day, 3 fourths of our body weight is water. Balanced diet. A diet that contains all the nutrients, including water and roughage, in correct proportion is called a balanced diet. Items to be consumed in the balanced diet most the least. Carbohydrates, proteins, dairy, vitamins and minerals, fats and a glass of water, not juice, not soda, etc. Balanced diet example. Here is the picture of a balanced diet including all the nutrients and roughage. Here is carbohydrate. Here we have proteins. Here we have dairy. Here we have fats. And here we have vitamins and minerals. And 
we will have a glass of water on the side preservation of food if food items are kept for a long period of time and not stored properly they get spoiled and such items are not good for our health preservation of food prevents food from getting spoiled we can preserve food by many ways such as drying removing the water content of food pickling mixing fruits and vegetables with oil and salt refrigerating keeping food in the fridge to preserve it but for a short time deep freezing keeping food preserved for a longer time than refrigerating canning and bottling storing food in cans and jars the role of microbes microbes are small living organisms that cannot be seen with our naked eye they can only be seen with the help of an instrument called microscope microbes are of four main types bacteria virus fungi and protozoa diseases caused by microbes bacteria causes typhoid tuberculosis and cholera virus causes influenza polio and the common cold fungi causes ringworm and athlete's foot protozoa causes food poisoning malaria and dysentery good microbes versus bad microbes good microbes like bacteria turn milk into curd but bacteria also causes diseases like typhoid virus some of them protect humans against various infections but they also cause diseases like polio fungi helps in the rotting of dead plants and animals but it also causes diseases like the ringworm protozoa makes the soil fertile but it also causes diseases like malaria Thank you my dear friends see you next time bye